Hello everyone, I'm Kyle Jonas. Welcome to Tommy Media's The Locker Room. The 16th ranked St. Thomas football team needs a win against St. Olaf Saturday to keep its 2013 playoff hopes alive. The Tommies enter the game with a 5-2 Mayak record, while the Oles are winless in conference play. St. Thomas battled back from a 13-0 deficit to defeat Concordia Moorhead 34-20 last weekend. I'm joined today by coach Glenn Caruso, wide receiver Charlie Dowdle, and linebacker Harry Patera. Thank you for joining us. You're welcome. Thanks for having us. Coach, what needs to happen Saturday in order for your team to receive a playoff berth? Well, the number one thing and the obvious thing is we need to win. If we don't do that, then uh, we haven't earned anything and certainly don't deserve it. If we are able to play well enough, uh, our playoff hopes are very much alive and feel pretty good about them. That would be bolstered, not completely imperative, but bolstered also by uh, a Bethel victory. And uh, there are a couple other little things throughout the region that could happen that, that could make it slightly better. But uh, with a victory this Saturday, uh, feel fairly good about it. And Charlie, you are one of seven players with over 100 receiving yards for your team this season. How does having so many options through the air benefit your passing attack as well as your ground game? I think it just uh, makes us more dangerous as an offense and really opens up the field for us. It, like you said, it benefits the run game because we're able to spread the field out a lot more and we have guys who are willing to block and catch the ball, which is even makes us even more than dangerous and just a testament to the type of guys we have where everyone steps up when they're called upon. And coach, your team fought back off against a talented Concordia team last yeah, weekend. Oh yeah. What does that say about the resiliency of this group? Well, you, you kind of took, I guess, the imperative word. And resilience is, is, uh, is key. I think it really, our guys are very sharp with how they utilize their emotion. And certainly when we get out to a good start, we've shown that we can uh, roll pretty hard there. But I think it shows a, a lot of their mental focus to understand that when we don't get out to a good start, which we absolutely did not any phases of our game, uh, that we can kind of reset and understand it's a long game. So, I mean, had we been playing a six-minute game, yeah, we would have lost that one, but we understand it's a 60-minute game. And I think that starts with the recruiting process, just understanding that you gear things for the long run, not for the short term. And our kids have so many strengths. Um, their, their mental toughness is probably even more important than any physical strength they have, and that's what you saw on display versus what I would say a very, very good Concordia team. You know we respect and have hats off to them all the time. So, nice win. And Harry, you forced and then recovered a fumble last weekend. Mm -hmm. And as a linebacker, you have many opportunities throughout the game to tackle the ball carrier. What are some different techniques you use when trying to strip a ball from a ball carrier? Uh, that's a great question, Kyle. Um, I think one a great thing our defense does is we get all 11 guys to the pile. And when that happens, we're able to uh, you know, keep the ball carrier up. And on Saturday, I was just fortunate enough to be around the ball and you know, rake at the ball. And, you know, it was a cold game, so that might have affected the way the ball carrier was handling the ball. So, um, you know, once it out, once the ball is out, you just kind of got to get in the pile, you know, scratch, claw, do whatever it takes just to kind of, you know, come up with that ball, and I was fortunate enough to do that on Saturday. Definitely. Well, good luck to you and your team Saturday. Appreciate yeah. it. And now it's time for this week's fan question. Coach, senior Eric Ritaco wants to know, being the first coach in program history to guide your team to seven or more wins for six consecutive seasons, what does that say about not just you, but the program as a whole the past six years? I think it says a lot of things of which we probably don't have time to list them all, but it starts with the fact that we have the right types of players that, uh, certainly good football players, we know that, but even better guys. And guys, that you listen to these two guys talk, and they could speak all, people would want them to speak about themselves, and they talk about the team, they talk about the work, they talk about the focus of, of playing together and the, uh, how much they appreciate that. I think that's what it really talks about is, just how, how much our players not only um, grow each year, but also enjoy being a part of it. And uh, I think it, it probably speaks more than anything else, uh, certainly about the school. And uh, I think the only thing that, that uh, the head coach had to do was pick the right school. And I think this school has a lot of great things going for it. And uh, the fact that we've been able to conti continue to keep that going on for as long as we have uh, is a testament to the strength of the program. If you have a question, tweet it to at Tommy Media. Be sure to check TommyMedia.com for the latest campus news. Thank you for joining us. With Coach Glenn Caruso, Charlie Dowdle, and Harry Patera, I'm Kyle Jonas. We'll see you next time in The Locker Room.